Yo, 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 it's your boy Eddie Star coming to you live from the past. A little late, but I had to do this video, man. It's a lot of heat that's going on right now. You had uh, D'Angelo Russell. Uh, he, he just recently made the second rookie team. And uh, I feel kind of good about that because I was, I was a guy who was saying that D'Angelo Russell is not a bust. And... Uh, you know, there's a lot of argument talking about, man, it could have just, you know, why did uh, Devin Booker get the first team when he kind of was like Jordan Clarkson? He, he had that momentum towards the end. There's speculation whether, which I don't believe, um, the the situation with the uh, Nick Young, uh, if that had any effect on the voters or whatever the case may be. But I, I really think it was... It was um, the expectation that was placed on D'Angelo Russell. It wasn't like uh, he had a poor season. It's just he had higher expectations. And because if uh, you look at Devin Booker and you look at D'Angelo Russell's, uh, um, their stats is almost similar. Um, so that's that. But I, I mean, I'm, I, I love Devin Booker's game. <laughs> I love D'Angelo Russell's game. Uh, so I'm just happy, right? I'm just happy for both of them. But uh, like I said in my on my Twitter shout out, Kobe Bryant made the second team. It's not where you start, but it's where you finish at. So it's not it's not the worst thing in the world if this happens. Uh, I even seen uh, Laker Talk. He put out a tweet that was good, and he said that uh, Mike from Laker Talk has said, you know, maybe this gives inspires. Uh, D'Angelo Russell to come in next season fired up to prove the dollars even even more. So okay, so you had that. Uh, also, Mitch Kupchak. I'm gonna post the link in the description below. And uh, Mitch Kupchak, he hopped on uh, AM 570 in Los Angeles, and uh, you're gonna. I'm gonna let you check it out, right? And um, he was asked a few questions, right? First, you know, they got to kind of butter him up. And Mitch is great at this. He's great at, at doing the media stuff. He's awesome. Um, so let's just get into it, man. I ain't going to hold you guys up too much. Uh, so they asked him about the pick. They're like, look, man, are, are you shopping the pick? And he starts off by saying, look, uh, first of all, it's not too many players that I would trade that pick for. Um, maybe a handful, right? And a handful is a stretch. Uh, like I, I wrote down some names: Paul George, Boogie Cousins, but he's not. You know, Vlade came out and said he's not getting traded. Uh, Jimmy Butler, right? Um, but I mean, come on. Uh, who else? I mean, those are three guys, right? That's that's the most I can think of. Uh, maybe a Russell Westbrook, but you're not. I mean, West Westbrook is in his prime. I mean. It's unrealistic, um, any of these trade scenarios. And Mitch Kupchak sounded kind of dubious. He was a little skeptical, a little cynical, like, mm, I'm not sure about giving up the pick. Uh, uh, but he understands that GMs will call him, and he will probably call them. He, he kind of was ambiguous. He was like, uh, you know, maybe, maybe not. Um so he was asked about pressure. He says, hey, man, so what about the pressure? You know, um, you know, what, what, what about, you know, because Genie, or not, I guess, you know, Jim Buss, more appropriately, had put this timeline, and, you know, Genie's looking at that timeline that you that uh, Jim Buss put together. So do you feel any pressure? Now, he did say yes, but he says, uh, yeah, the pressure that I feel uh, is, is self is, is self imposed. Bullshit. I'm sorry. <laughs> Come on, you know. But uh, <laughs> nevertheless, he may feel that way. But I just was kind of like, "Come on, man. You know you feel that pressure." Uh, but Mitch is a good guy. He's a good guy. You know, it, once you hear him speak, you feel a little bit more comfort uh, once he starts speaking. But I'm pretty sure he feels a pressure because it's not so much Mitch. It's it's more 
gym bus, right? Gym bus feels the pressure. And, um, you know, Mitch knows if, if Jim is gone, then he's gone too. So it's a little bit more than self-imposed. That's just, that's just what I believe. But that's what the man said, so we got to take his word. Uh, so he understands what we understand, right? He knows that um, next year, regardless of the fact, we're not expecting a championship, but we are expecting improvement. We're expecting to see a better team on the floor. Um, you know, basically it won't be an immediate impact, but we are expecting to see a, a, a better team on the floor. Um, also, he did mention that Luke Walton will indeed play small ball. Small ball will be the offense that will be played, right? And that's what the Lakers are going to be playing. And that's the bottom line. Uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, you guys can check it out. It's going to be in the link below. Uh, yeah, I mean, pff, what, what else can I say? Uh, it's your boy, D-Star. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to share. Also, add me on Twitter, man. Highlight your boy on Twitter. Peace.